I'm Shadur Ramwala. The name of my firm is Design Workshop. Been practicing in Lunaula since 1988, mostly into second homes, but also into resorts, hotels, five-star hotels. We are right now doing a museum, and uh, so that's anything that is exciting and creative. We take it on as a challenge. The project that uh, we're going to talk about is Machan, which is 20 minutes drive from Lunaula. It's in, uh, located on 25 acres of pristine Western Ghat forest, and uh, we decided that we're going to make a tree house. So this is full of forest. You know, it's like a Western Ghat tree. So there are none of these fancy trees, and this was a house that we decided to build around a wild fig tree, which is like it becomes a courtyard over there, and. If we look at the cross section of this side, it's it goes up like this, and then there's a little bit of a tableland, and this is where this beautiful wild fig tree is there. So we decided to make the house around this tree. So from the forest floor, it was 45 feet above. And on the one side, we had a ramp that connects it to the flattish part, and the tree becomes a courtyard where the house is built. So once you zoom out, it's this huge mountain, and the house is located like a dot over there. The whole thing was that you have a tree, and the house is around that tree. And the tree, if you look in totality, is like an inverted pyramid. So if you look at it, it is very small footprint, and it is a huge crown. So the whole idea was that we gonna mimic the tree in terms of the concept that you have a very small footprint. You have like these four small columns. You have a tree in the center, and the house happens around it. And the tree is becomes a courtyard. The whole house is. A, an artificial, a man-made tree around a natural tree. So the house, uh, interestingly, was designed as a universal space. When I say universal space, it means there are not too many walls, so that there's no partition between the living, the dining, and the bedroom. So it's kind of a long space with a, just a small wooden partition for the bed. Then the interesting part was that because there's a difference of 45 feet between the the bottom of the house from the forest floor, we decided to tuck in a hanging room. Now, when I say a hanging room, it means that there was no support from the bottom or the sides. It was suspended from the floor of the main house, and. We then we decided to put a sleeping balcony, which is on the top of the powder room. We came out of a comfort zone. Uh, instead of using the traditional material as RCC stone bricks, we had to we had a challenging site, and we had to respond to the site. The client's brief was not to cut any, forget cutting the trees, not even to trim a branch. So the whole house had to be. Had to uh, respond to the challenges thrown by the site and the challenges thrown by the client. It was impossible. The second thing was impossible to build over there because it's a mountain. There's no electricity. There's no road. So in the middle of a forest, we had to build. So the idea was to build this whole house outside the site in a in a workshop and bring and assemble it over there. The material palette accordingly responded to the site with steel, glass, and wood. So 95% of the house is recyclable. Unlike traditional way of building, where you might recycle five person. So really, true sense of the word, this is a green building, as close as you can get to an ideal. So once we completed this house, we realized that we have a typology of how to build on a mountain slope. Because the traditional way is to do cut, fill, destroy the flora fauna, change the course of the water on the mountain side. It means the whole act of creation was an act of destruction. 
and that is something that we did not want to happen to nature. So we developed this typology that this is the way, this is the best way, this is the closest that you can build design with nature and make it as green as possible. And the building that we build on a mountain slope, we call it a diet building because they're extremely lean, mean and hungry.